In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily set up custom GPTs on WhatsApp, opening up powerful new possibilities for your business. So whether you're looking to streamline customer interactions or explore advanced use cases like an AI sales agent, and this tutorial has you covered. So imagine having a custom AI assistant on WhatsApp that not only chats with your customers, but can also handle tasks like answering FAQs, qualifying leads, and even scheduling meetings, all without you lifting a finger. So just think about the potential. Businesses can use AI to nurture leads, respond to customer questions, and seamlessly integrate this data into your CRM. So it's a simple setup that can transform the way you engage with your customers. And I'm excited to show you how you get started. Real quick, I wanted to mention if you're a business owner and you're tired of being stuck in the day-to-day -day grind and you want to leverage our systems to scale your business, then book a free call with me. I'll show you how to drive revenue, save time in your business, and ultimately scale for growth so you can finally step away from the daily operations. And be sure to join my school community because I'll be providing so much other valuable resources like this automation that'll help you grow and scale your business, which I don't provide on my YouTube. So to get started, we're going to be using a couple of different platforms to make this the simplest and the fastest way to actually input a chatbot on WhatsApp. So one of the platforms we're going to be using is called Agentive, and this is Liam Otley's platform. You may have heard of him before, but anyways, this just allows you to create chatbots and put them on your websites and, you know, deploy them on actual places instead of just keeping them on the ChatGPT store. So in this specific case, we want to deploy it on WhatsApp. So to do that, we'll just create a new agent. But as you can see, I have a few different ones. I already have a WhatsApp one. Then how you actually create these agents to, you know, respond on your information is you're uploading a knowledge base. And I'll get into how you do that as well. But as you can see here, this is what the WhatsApp agent already built out looks like. So I just gave it some instructions. I gave it a knowledge base on a fake company. And you could also include some tooling. So if you want to, let's say, update your CRM like HubSpot, Airtable, Zoho, if you want to update your CRM with information like the leads that you're talking to and collect their name and then put it in your CRM, you would use tools like Relevance AI, which just allows you to build out AI agents. So I could build out a video if you guys would like that in the future, just let me know and I'll be happy to show you how to do all that. But it's pretty simple. So what we're going to be doing right now, just create a new agent. We'll call this Evergreen Real Estate. So we're just going to be making up a fake company and we'll say, um, customer support agent for evergreen real estate. Then down here, you'll just want to put in your API key from OpenAI. So how you actually get that is you'll just go to OpenAI, go into your settings, go under your profile and you'll see OpenAI API key. But I'm just going to select mine, it's already here. And we'll just use the new 4.0 mini for the agent model. So we'll just create the agent. And now let's focus on how to actually prompt this because you know, we could say some things like, I want you to be nice, then your agent's going to be nice and you can give it all these different instructions, but you want to give it perfect instructions to respond however you want every single time. So what I did here is I created a document of the AI perfect prompt writer, writer sorry. But essentially I'll have this document in my school community and this will just allow you to write perfect um, prompts. So. It's basically just a cookie cutter template and you're inputting all your information like agent name. So if you want it to be called Evergreen, so that's just a fake real estate company that I made up. Um, you give it some context on the agent. So you're describing what the agent does, where it is being developed and why, and provide a concise explanation of the agent's function, target audience, and the specific environment in which it will operate. And you're giving it some context, knowledge context, even get the tools available. We're not going to be using any tools today. This is going to be a pretty simple build. And then just give it some examples. So I even have an example down here. So just going over the agent and everything. So I'm going to call it Evergreen Real Estate. So agent context. So this is going to be WhatsApp agent to help with customer support. It's for both existing customers and potential customers to access through our website and ask questions to a knowledge base with our FAQs in it. So how you actually use this, all you do is literally just input your information or your answers to all of the questions and um, the empty blanks and everything. Then you just give it to JGBT. You don't have to type anything else, but it'll do everything for you. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm just going to copy all of this and then 
go down here, get all this as well. Then I'm going to just be putting this into ChatGPT with you know the information that I actually want it to include about my business. And I'll come back to you once I have that filled out. So as you can see, I just copied and pasted it. So whenever it said input, I just inserted whatever I wanted. So for example, input for the agent name is going to be Evergreen Real Estate. Um, I'll show you another one. So ideal input plus output examples. So the input is going to be question, where are you located? And I gave it an example answer saying we operate remotely, entirely online. And then I'm just giving it its role down here. So telling it to respond in very specific ways. You don't have to worry about that part. As long as you copy it, you'll be fine. So let's just go ahead and see what it gives us. So this will take just a second. But as you can see, it's coming up with a response, giving it in, you know, different categories like role. So it's saying the AI agent known as Evergreen Real Estate operates as a WhatsApp based customer support tool. It's designed to assist both existing and potential customers by providing accurate and prompt responses to their queries. So it goes on about whole different stuff like the tasks, which is super important. And it gives, you know, essentially everything a a properly working chatbot needs to respond as a customer support agent. So let's just go ahead and copy all of this and then just paste it back into Agentive. So we'll go here, go paste this in and we'll even see what the prompt score gives us. So it should be pretty high. So 8.8, .8, pretty solid. Um, now we'll be giving it a knowledge base. So to do this first, we'll enable the knowledge base obviously, but I also created a document which gives you a perfect prompt to write out your own knowledge base. So. Basically, this prompt is just saying, I need you to help me create a detailed instruction knowledge base for a business, but you could also find this document in my school community. So I even created an example down here of what a knowledge base could look like. So this is just for real estate, giving some property information and everything, but I'll show you what mine looks like further in just one second. But essentially, you just uh, do the same thing as you did before. This is just a cookie gutter template. So you'll be copying all this information and then just insert it with what information you have about your company, like your services, its names and everything, descriptions and all that. So I already have a PDF document, so I'm going to select that. So evergreen knowledge base, and I can even show you what it looks like, but essentially it just kind of looks like this, um, but in a PDF format. So commercial properties, I'm giving it downtown office plaza, different residential properties and some other commercial properties. I have it given some FAQs, resources, and guides. Um, yeah, so now we will publish this. Click yes, I'm sure. And now let's just see what happens when we try to talk to it. So we'll say something like, what services do you provide? So it takes a second to find that information, but if you use different models like ChatGPT 4.0, as opposed to, you know, 4.0 mini, things will go by faster. But essentially it's just showing me um, the response that it gives me. So we could even see the usage. So total tokens is 4,575. Completion tokens use 58, showing the model that it used and everything. So cool stuff right there, but we'll say, tell me about your commercial properties. So don't even know things about, you know, rent or um, size, neighborhood descriptions on that. So as you can see, it comes up with all their different properties that they have um, for a commercial. So neighborhood, it's in a central business district. Um, it's a prime office building with modern office spaces, flexible layouts, underground parking and 24 seven security. So even if you wanted to, you could upload, you know, like a PDF of your entire website, which may have information about your rent prices. So let's say you are in real estate and you're making something similar. You can do something exactly like this, implement a you know huge knowledge base and it will have every single answer for any question. So now we want to actually deploy this onto WhatsApp. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we'll go at the top here and you'll see deploy. And as you can see, there's a few different options. So they do deploy on Instagram, WhatsApp, and um, Facebook Messenger, and even websites. So we're just going to be selecting WhatsApp and we'll now connect that. So once this loads in, I'm just going to continue onto my Facebook profile because Facebook and WhatsApp are connected. So you will have to have a Facebook business manager profile, but I'll show you how to build that out right here. So this is where it'll take you. Every Facebook or every Facebook um, profile gets one, it's free. So we'll call business name reprise, business website reprise AI.us, and we'll choose a country. So go to the States and we'll just click next. So now we just want to create a new WhatsApp account. So we'll just choose this one down here. We'll click next. 
We'll call this account reprise agent. So if this one doesn't really matter, we'll just choose something like uh, professional services. So now we'll click next. We went to the next module. So I just verified the phone number and gave it the verification code. And now we'll just click on continue. So now that we just finished that, we came back into Agentive and this is what automatically came up. So this is the phone number and we're just going to be connecting this. So we'll click on confirm. Once that finally loads in, you'll see this screen here and this is how you know it will be connected. So we'll just have that little widget pop up and so you're all connected. So you can change intervals and seconds to whatever you would like. I'm just going to leave it as five or six, whatever, but we'll just close this out. So now that we actually have this deployed, we're going to be coming into WhatsApp and all I did was pull up the number that I registered and verified earlier. So this is the number right here. So this is going to be reprise and everything that I just filled out. So let's go ahead and try out something. So we'll say what commercial properties do you have? So this will take just a second, but it'll actually respond like a human. So it'll say we manage the following commercial properties, downtown office plaza, lakeside retail center, tech park, industrial complex. So it gives all this different information for all that. So we can even go up one more step and say, um, I have so many questions. Provide me your FAQs. So I don't know, we'll just say something like that and just see what it comes back to us. So essentially we're just having it answer a bunch of random questions, you know, trying to actually nurture these customers and, you know, eventually collect all their names and information. So this just came back with some of the FAQs. So it'll say, what areas do you provide? So didn't answer quite properly. So you could change the prompting a little bit more, but essentially it's giving the answers. Like we manage a variety of properties, including single family homes, apartment complexes, office buildings and retail centers. So as you can see how this could be very useful because you're deploying it on a platform that has around 2 billion users. And there you have it. So while this wasn't the craziest use case, I just wanted to show you how you can actually deploy, you know, some support chatbots onto WhatsApp, you know, a user base that has over 2 billion users and everything. So it can be super helpful. And you can see how many different ways that you could go about this, you know, adding different tool functions, like adding this information to your CRM, you know, trying to get them to book a meeting and answering other types of questions. So, so whether it's answering your questions or helping with lead nurturing, the possibilities are endless. So if you want the exact prompts and documents I use in this video, be sure to check the description below. And if you're looking to scale your business and get out of the day-to-day -day grind, then book a free call with me. I'll show you how to implement systems like this to drive revenue, save time, and ultimately grow your business. Plus join my school community for even more valuable resources that can help you take your business to the next level. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.